Secular Rarity is asking, are you worried about the coup in Myanmar will resort in more killings of the Rohingya? Personally, I'm not familiar enough with this um, conflict to be able to give an educated answer. Um, well, actually, so I don't I'll, know. Hopefully, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm actually, I don't know. I was very discouraged with how much popular support is against the Rohingyas within not just average Myanmarese. How do you say? Burmese. Let's say Burmese. Myanmarese. Burmese, yeah. Average Burmese people seem to be like, yes, who are those people? So I don't know how much, again, I don't know the, maybe I'm wrong about this, but I don't know the details. So I don't know how much is this going to, increase or decrease that so i don't know um but katie had a question yes katie is asking did you see the indian government opposed same-sex marriage in court yesterday saying that it would be the downfall of the traditional family i still need to um wow dig into that uh all those updates that have been happening with this case thank you for sending me a lot of articles katie um i think uh because of the our news editor can't always turn around things that quickly i know there were some developments today so we're probably going to have to talk all about it on the news next week um and i know that the court delayed or made delays in the case so we'll see how things develop but i mean it's a it's a standard argument i'm not exactly surprised and then Katie is saying, well, meanwhile, apologists try to make BJP sound gay friendly for a rainbow colored metro station. <laughs> Allyship. We give you a rainbow bus. No. <laughs> we'll take away marriage and give you a rainbow, a rainbow bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's so bad. I mean, like, if you also had your rights, that would like be no big deal. That'd be pretty fun. Like where I live, like there's a ton of sidewalks that are rainbow. You know, like who, it doesn't really mean anything, but it's cool. Um, Music Guy is saying there's actually no clinical studies on how much water you should drink. The whole eight glasses a day was made up. Uh, Music Guy, the exact amount is made up, but the fact that drinking more water has, ha that has benefits, that is not made up. You don't need to drink as much as I have. I just drink it because I like when I start eating, water champ. no, when I, when I start eating, I don't want to eat because my tummy is empty, right? I just noticed that if my tummy is full with water, I eat slowly. Like once I start eating, mm. after I drink a whole water, much of water, I eat slower because I'm not like shoving it down because I'm so like hungry. Right. So I enjoy the food more because it's now about enjoying every bite, every taste. And I get so much full a lot faster when I drink a lot of water, right? Uh, but there is a lot of benefits to to drinking more water. There is lots of studies that show there's a lot of benefits to it. But how much exactly? Yeah, there's a that's not a science. That's not really well known yet. But yeah, I try to drink like two of these a day. Whoops, which is like I think eighty ounces of water. Yeah. But I'm not very good at it. I really do need to drink more. It probably help clear up my skin. Although my skin has been, it's been doing a lot better today or yeah. recently. I mean, it's one of the Ghost three. Bunny, main... That's the most important. That's the most important answer to Ghost Bunny's question. I've been right. working on my skin. It's been paying off. And that's all I care about. I mean, drinking more water is one of the th three main things that has proved been proven. Actually, yeah, like. Sleeping a lot, drinking a lot of water, um, eating healthy, and moving, right? Even like, you don't even if you can't exercise, just like making sure like you're not stationary. Um, these are the four things that have been time tested. Like, yeah, these are the four main things. Oh, and not smoking, obviously. Yeah. I'm yeah. so glad I cut that out of my life. Oof. I can't believe it was. Never mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, for years. Here. This is more of a comment. 
I believe Facebook. Oh, so this is about um, Myanmar again. I believe Facebook and Instagram recently banned the military accounts for inciting the genocide last time. Yeah, I saw that. Fascinating. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Could you? It's so, it sucks. I can't tell people to send me articles on Twitter anymore, guys. Rip. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> please, uh, I'd love to read more about that. Please uh, either join our Discord and post Discord. it in the um, uh, news recommendation channel, or my Instagram is also in the description. I guess that's where my DMs live now, this Instagram. <laughs> Um, Ghost Bunny saying, Dear India, just because something is tradition doesn't mean it's good. Very apt point, Ghost Bunny. In order Easy. to progress, you need to cut ties with toxic traditions and rituals. Please do better. But, okay, so if they're saying that it undermines traditional family values, then what about... Hey, Deb! How's it going? Deb is here! Yay! Um... <laughs> Uh, the thing is, what 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 does that do for all the apologists who say that Hinduism is LGBT accepting? Are they, you know, like which is it? Ah, ah, which is it? Ah. Mm. So, also put on that your means Hindu that apologism also, hat and explain this to me. Explain this. Also, to me. I would I would want to I would want to issue a fatwa and say that Hindutva <laughs> is beta of Hinduism. So for the sake of tradition, you know, you have to go back to Hinduism and get rid of Hindutva. It's beta. I'm going to issue a fatwa. Fatwa issued right here. <laughs> I like how I'm doing. I like how I'm issuing, <laughs> I'm issuing a fatwa on by Dinah doing the cross the on cross. Hinduism. <laughs> How many levels? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Armin's fatwa. An atheist fatwa on Hindu being bed uh, on. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> oh my God. That was um, like so meta. You know, I actually need to do more research because I, I, I want to determine if your, you know, Hindu is, is better on Hinduism. Like, I want to see how true that is. Um, I need to learn a lot more. You, the just, problem you is, can just yeah, trust me. One of the one of the, one of my obstacles is though a lot of content I listen to is in English, and I listen to it or watch it in the background while I'm working. But the problem is a lot of the content I found about the issues that I'm interested in regarding India is in a different language, which means that I can't consume as much content learning about this subject because I need to give it my full attention to read the subtitles. So, guys, if you have good sources that are in English that are about, like, foundational Hindu beliefs and also Hinduva um, uh, ideological origins, please send it my way because that has been a barrier in me learning more about India recently. Yeah, I mean, actually, there is a lot of good content. I could send you some. But, I mean, there's a lot of good content on Hinduism and India uh, but there's not that much on um, English content on Hindutva and modern Indian history. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an audible on Hindutva. I want to see this. And there's none. Keter Friedrichs, what's his book? Saffron Fascism. Saffron Fascism. Um, I really want to read his book. I need to see if he... Um, uh, has it on audible because um you know we watch Faye de souza's news well she's been reporting on this guy he's he is in trouble with the indian government because they accuse him of having contact with the isi but the thing is like it's so funny to me it's such a small world because people have been recommending that we have him on the show for months now like he's well known in anti-hindu circles Good, let's have him. And they're wait. like, oh, Peter Friedrich, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, hey, wait, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> or I know who he is. This one. Um, Goddess Katie is saying the government, oh, this is talking about the gay marriage, Um, is using the same delaying tactics for gay marriage that they used for gay sex two years ago. The government lawyer even said that this issue is not important, so delays don't matter. Hmm. That's BS. But, wait, I just want to point out how crazy it is 
that the 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 timeline of progression from gay sex being decriminalized two years ago to now debating gay marriage like you know that delay is bs but the 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 how short the brevity of that the the difference yeah, between right. the two events is crazy i can't think of like any other country where it was that quick so yeah. well that is bs like that does show you how quickly attitudes have changed in india whereas yes, in, in countries like america it took decades between these two issues for attitudes to evolve obviously wow, attitudes, some optimism here eh, That's great. obviously yeah. attitudes still do need to evolve more but like that's turning on a dime even having that debate that quickly is huge hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy kali you know like me then that means that you probably want more blasphemous art well i have good news for you if you subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below then you get a free booklet of some of the tastiest blasphemous art available today so if you want some of this delicious blasphemy, and we're so generous that we update it for you guys weekly for free, all you have to do is sign up for our newsletter below. Uh, you can also go to blasphemousart.com slash ebook. That's blasphemousart.com slash ebook. Sign up with your email, and you get free gifts of this tasty blasphemy. What could be better? So make sure you sign up Link below.